Hey guys, welcome back to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. My name's Alicia, a craft producer here at Makers Gonna Learn, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to wood burn with your Cricut. So here are all the projects that we're gonna need to complete this project. We're gonna be making a cute little Easter tag with some carrots on it and a name. So we have these little wooden tags right here. This is gonna be our base. We've also already went ahead and cut our design. How cute is that? This is all Maker's Gonna Learn text files as well as cut files that we're using. And then I've got the Minwax Early American Stain. This is probably my favorite color of stain that we use. Um, and also brand, I love the Minwax brand. You're gonna need like an 80 grit sanding block. I've got yarn. You don't have to use orange and green, um, but I'm gonna show you guys a cute little yarn trick um, to make the top of it look like a carrot, which is super cute. You're gonna need gloves for stain as well as for this, and you're gonna need a heat gun. Um, if you've got an embossing heat gun, you're probably gonna wanna use a bigger, like hotter one. So we like this one a lot. And then you're also gonna need your torch paste. This is like gonna be the secret to all of your Cricut wood burning projects. This is gonna literally make your project into a wood burning masterpiece. Um, it comes with a little spatula, but we're gonna actually use a little makeup sponge, and then you're gonna need a burnishing tool. And that's it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go on to makersgonnalearn.com. I'm gonna select cut files, and then we're going to search Easter. And that's gonna pull up our carrot cut file. We've also got tons of, tons of other cut files that you can choose from. And if you wanted to use another Easter file, you totally could, but we're gonna be using this Happy Easter with carrots, and we're just gonna go ahead and download that. And then I'm also gonna download a font, and we're gonna be using Mary Catherine font. That's the name of the font we're gonna be using today. We have thousands of fonts for you to choose from. So we're gonna be using this Mary Catherine font right here. Go ahead and download that and then you can pull them up in here if you want to. Make sure it downloaded. If it's a zipped file, which this font is, we're gonna go ahead and click that to unzip it. And then we're gonna click again and make sure that we install the font. After that, we're gonna go back into Design Space and we are going to upload our carrot image first. And we're gonna pull in the SVG because we're gonna be cutting. We're not doing a print and cut. We just need the SVG because we're only cutting. So go ahead and upload that and you can click it and add it to your canvas. So we're gonna go ahead and ungroup everything. So I've selected it. I'm gonna select ungroup and then I'm going to select the green only. And then we're gonna drop down here to contour and we're gonna get rid of the happy Easter. We only want the green stems and you'll have to go through and select all of these, or you could have just hit hide all contours and clicked on just the stems and that would have worked too. So now we've only got the stems, only have the carrots, and we just need to plug in our text. So we're gonna go ahead and type out the name and we're gonna change that font to Mary Catherine. Go right down here. This is the font we're gonna be using. Super cute, one of our faves. Whenever we pull that font in here, the letters are kind of close together, so we're gonna space them out a little bit just so it looks better. I think that is good right there. It's kind of just whatever you prefer. And then we're gonna make it as big as the carrots. After you get your text to the size that you want, you're gonna click and drag and we are going to weld everything together. This is gonna put it all on the same mat. That way it cuts from the same stencil vinyl. And then we're also gonna resize this to our tag. So depending on where you're planning to put this, you need to make sure and measure and then change up here at the top the sizes of your project. So our tags are five by two and three quarters. They do go at an angle at the top, so I don't wanna make it super tall. 
So let's go ahead and adjust this to two and three quarters because we know that's the width and you can zoom in. So our width is two and three quarters and it made it about 3.9 in height. And then after you do that, you're gonna go ahead and make it. We're gonna select on mat, continue. So once you pull it over here, we're gonna be cutting this on stencil vinyl. You don't need to mirror it when you're using stencil vinyl. It's just like a regular permanent vinyl and you're gonna continue, select your Cricut. And once that loads, you're going to select your material, which is gonna be stencil vinyl. Now, if you only have permanent vinyl on hand, you can use it. Just be very careful when you're using wood. It may pull up your wood a little bit. Um, so make sure you really, really sand it down super good before you decide to use permanent vinyl. We're gonna be using the stencil vinyl though, and you can keep your pressure at default, and then you'll go ahead and send it through your Cricut. We've got our Cricut stencil already cut out, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the backer off. Just be very careful when you're pulling that off and throw that away. And then we're just gonna line this up centrally. You can kind of see the tag through the back of the stencil. So I'm just lining her name up with that bottom edge and just kind of pay attention to the tops of the carrots that they don't go off the actual edge of the tag. And then I'm gonna use a burnishing tool and I'm gonna put that on there really good. And then we're gonna go ahead and take that transfer vinyl off of the top. You just wanna make sure that your stencil isn't coming up with your transfer tape as you peel it off. It tends to a little bit, especially with uh, stencil vinyl. So you just have to be super careful. So once you've got your transfer tape pulled off, we're gonna go ahead and put on gloves and we're going to apply our torch paste. So I'm gonna go ahead and open our torch paste and I've got a little makeup sponge here that we can use. Make sure you're wearing gloves and protective eyewear for this. And I'm also gonna use our little spatula just to kind of scoop this out and put it onto our makeup brush. We don't want a super heavy coat of this. We want it to be nice and even. And if there is any excess, we can use our squeegee to kind of scrape off any excess. I'm also making sure my stencil is stuck all the way down. That way none of this torch paste seeps up underneath our stencil. So we're just gonna apply this with a sponge. And once you completely cover it, we're gonna let it sit for about two minutes. So once you've applied your torch paste, make sure it's a good even coat. If you need to use your squeegee to go through, you can kind of scrape off the excess if you need to. I use this sponge to kind of thin it out really good. And then we're just gonna go ahead and take off this stencil. If you need to, you can use your weeding tool to get the middles of your letters out. Once your stencil's removed, we're gonna let this sit for two minutes and then when that's completed, we'll go ahead and apply the heat. So we're gonna go ahead and apply the heat to our tag. Make sure you keep it about six to 10 inches away. It'll take a little bit longer, but it won't burn the actual wooden part of the tag. It'll only burn where we've applied the torch paste. So you just wanna make sure to keep a good distance. Once you completely burned this, if you need to go in with some masking uh, transfer or any kind of like tape and you can put this on top of your tag and just kind of rub over top of it and then peel it off and it's gonna get off any extra soot. So we've got a little bit of black around here. You wanna do that before you stain it cause it may smear on your tag. And then you can just kind of take your finger and make sure that there's no extra anywhere before you go in with your stain. Now that we've got the set off of our tag, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this stain open. And once again, we're using Early American, which is really pretty. You could also do like an antique white, you could do a gray would be really pretty for Easter. Um, but we're just gonna use the Early American 
and just make sure you get off all the excess and we're just gonna go ahead and stain, stain, stain. I'm just using a paper towel for this. You could use an old t-shirt, whatever you have laying around. And then you can let that sit for a couple minutes and then just wipe off the excess stain. So it's gonna look something like that. Once you've got your stain done, we can go ahead and do our twine. Now you don't have to do the orange and green twine. I just thought it would be a fun way to incorporate the carrot colors since we didn't really incorporate them on our actual tag. So we're gonna go ahead and cut a pretty good length of this orange. This is what it's gonna hang from. And I'm just going to tie a knot in this. And then I'm gonna kind of double this up just like this. And then we're gonna weed it through our tag. We're gonna go from the back into the front. And then I'm just gonna grab this knot. And you'll get something like this. And then what we're gonna do next is cut some of this green off about the same length. And we're just gonna tie this in a bow. I'm gonna tie it just like if you were tying your shoes. I'm gonna tie it right there at the base. And I have this doubled around too, so it's a little bit thicker. So we've got a little green bow, and then you can just cut this right here. And there you have it. What did you guys think about wood burning with the Cricut? I feel like this is such an easy, fun way to customize your wood projects. It's perfect for customizing your Easter baskets. And I feel like there's so many different creative opportunities that you can use when you're wood burning. Um, if you're interested, you can check out the Makers Gonna Learn website. We've got tons of cut files, tons of fonts for you to choose from, and we would love for you to be a part of our community. If you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to us so you never miss any of our crafts. We loved having you guys. Thank you. Bye.